So uh, with Phoenician, Phoenicians had a very profound writing system called cuneiform. And, and they were merchants, right? As a fact and language, they were merchants. So merchants have to be what? Skilled in phonetics. You can see the word phonetic and Phoenician. You also can see the word phony. Phony comes from a self-righteous, almost like a hypocrite. And that's what they used to say the Pharisees were. And well, they used to govern the Pharisees as well. And so when you're looking at, let's take a look at this concept of the deity Baal. You're looking at Baal, you, you almost see Osiris. But what is he doing? He's portraying signs and symbols with his hand. That's an ancient Hindu symbol. You'd see the Buddha that he used to shoot called the Mudra. Look it up in Sanskrit. The Mudra with their palm out is the, 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 the symbolic sign for stopping that evil, stopping any force. And so his thumb is up wide because... Of all the fingers, well, you know what the thumb is. The thumb is the one that grasps the power, right? And so, yeah, he's, his thumb is up. It's ascending because he's they're okay because they will be governing you. And, and they govern by what? The canon. No, canon is a law. The canon law is the law of the church. The church is what? The clergy. Yeah, these are the true ancient clergy they started a lot of these things the political strife governing subjects and a hierarchy assassinations in fact assassin comes from the word hashishin hashishin were those militant soldiers they would take hashish the drug to prep themselves in, in, um, in light of getting ready to do battle so where do you think a lot of this came from? And so many symbols that they were you would use would be the bull. The bull is what used today on Wall Street, 33rd Street. Wall Street is what? Symbolic of bells. Bells is similar to the phonetic Baal. That's the deity I just showed you. Baal, whom looked like Osiris. And so what happens? Out there in Wall Street, when they ring the Baal, well, business is closed. The merchants are no longer doing business and all the followers that are no longer following them. This whole concept, just really understand it. It's a, a charging bull because you were being charged. And so it, the, the concept, the merchants of antiquity are similar to the merchants that you see in modern day. Embezzlement. Corporate security frauds. Where do you think these things started from? And so you have to listen to words. And so so you can truly have an understanding. Let me go deeper. Okay. In ancient Hebrew, the Canaanites, Can -Naans, the Canaanites were merchants. Merchants deal with stock. Now, what is stock? Stock is a bull, right? The charging bull that's on Wall Street. You understand what I'm saying? A charging bull is what? Reckless. Like that old saying, a bull in a china shop. Because you have to grab that bull by the horns. You have to deal with a situation um, quickly and frequently. And so, but the bull, symbolically, was the symbol for the Phoenicians, Baal. And a bull is what? A bull is fertile. It's fruitful. Why is it fruitful? Because it brings you it brings you um, abundance. It brings you what you call produce. And you, and you look at the word fertility, you'll see produce. Produce is what? Stock. Production. Like the old Southerners would say, you know, their, their cattle, their hogs was, was their money. You understand? That's where that, you know, that concept of hogging comes from. So you got to read these words and, and, and put it all together, but <clears throat> yeah, you have to put it, put it all together because that bull is what? It's, it's unpredictable. The bull is always raging. And that's, isn't that exactly synonymous with Wall Street? They have a charging bull there. It's on 33rd Street. When the market's closed, they ring the bell. Bell is related to the word Ba'el. L 
can be found in Islam. El is someone who's exalted, like Malik El Shabazz, Malcolm X. Al Ba'al is also related to the, the, <coughs> the Hebrews, the term for God, El, as in the Elohim, the gods. And so Ba'al is close to the word Babel. Babel was the chief city in Babylon. You look up Babylon, you separate the words, you get Bab, which means the gateway. Elion means to the gods, gateway to the gods. And that's exactly what the what? The merchants do. They portray themselves to be gods. They are part of the canon law. Why is it called canon law? It's called canon law because it comes from the canons, the canonites. And, and if you don't do business with them, you'll get a cannoneer. And a, that's an artillery man. And that's exactly how business and finance and trading is done these days. That's why they call them merchants. Merchants are mercantiles. So in, in old Rome, Carthage, those areas, they had deities called Hermes. Hermes was called Mercurialis, M-E-R-C. Mercurialis was a place in Rome that was uh, full with stocks, stocks um, traders, senators, politicians, etc., and so they did um, commerce, but they believed in a lot of astro theology, astronomy. And so, like, I'll give you an example. The Queen of England and the concept of John D. John D. was a political advisor for the Queen of England. And so when they did com commerce or they um, traveled to, by sea to the Americas, they would do it on certain days. They was using the stars as like a political strategy. That's where 007 comes from, John D. He was a master mathematician for the uh, Queen Isabella. Isabella was related to the Stuarts. So you got to understand where this stuff comes from. But an excellent piece of literature on Canaan was done by an author, I think it's Ustis Mullins. It was called The Curse from Canaan. And when you, when you read this document, it's phenomenal, man. You've got to read it. It, it, it relates and talks about how these ancient principles are still taking place, place today with the militia. As I showed you, the word militia comes from miles, the Latin word close to miletion. It was a colony taken over by the Canaanites. And, the, and miles also is related to the, the concept of a soldier. <clears throat> they, had, they had many soldiers. Okay, so... We'll go to facts and show you where a lot of this comes from so you don't think I'm just spewing off loose etymology. Now, I told you about the militia. The militia, that's an a Latin word. So you look up militia, what do you see? Mile. Milesian was a colony taken over by Canaan. You understand? All right, so... In English, you can see it comes to the, 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 the spelling or the pronunciation of miles. That's where you get the concept of a thousand miles and running. Because in running from the Milesians, the Canaans, the Phoenicians, you had to do that a whole Roman mile. Look it up. Mile. A Roman mile. Right? Look at Mille, branches off to Miliarius, a thousand paces, a thousand miles and running. Miles was what? The soldiers, an, inf an infantryman, an, an, or in other words, an artilleryman, a cannon, cannoneer. That's where that comes from. A cannoneer <coughs> was the cannon. And who shot off the cannons? The clergy shot off the cannon where well, they also got the canon law. And the canon law is a law that comes through the church. And the church rules all. The church is what? A divine right by kings. The church, they feel that they get their authority from the gods. So that's where you get the concept of being exiled and you get the concept of capital punishment. And see, capital punishment is where you get the death penalty, which in law is really, it's, not, it's forbidden. Because in, in, they call it extra ju judicial judgment. I don't mean to throw these words at you, but it's just all popping in my head. I have to show you this. And so capital punishment, it really comes from the, the canon law. 
Because you get that canon if you didn't understand what these Canaanites or these Phoenicians were truly about. All right, so remember I showed you about the seal of Tanit. Her seal was this symbol here. She's what you call a magistrate or what you call a rabbat. A rabbat is where you get the concept of a rabbi. The Pharisees, the Jews, yeah, they, they controlled and governed them. So in, in language, in fact, a magistra or a magistrate is what? It's a mistress. You understand? It's a mistress. But the masculine is the minister. And so the opposite, the polar opposite of the magistrate is the minister. And, and, and the law of the sea is feminine. So they are using ancient principles. And so if you look up Punic, you'll see what?